me. You're going to search for some fog. Remember, if it has a banner or if it says sponsored by Shutterstock, they want you to pay for it. We have no money. Well, we have some money, but it's all going to our field trip. Okay. Um, choose a fog brush you like. You click on it. You download it. It goes into your downloads folder. I've already downloaded it once. But before you can install it, what must you do to that file? You got to unzip it. How do you unzip something? Double click. You're going to go back into Photoshop. If it yells about broken pipe, does it matter? No. Nah. Broken pipe doesn't mean anything. Usually that's just because it's one singular file that's been zipped and, Photoshop and your computer is like, I don't know what to do with this. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to go back up next to my brush size, click the level, go to the gear. Where do I go to install it? Import. I look for it. It's hopefully in my downloads folder, probably under free something something. There's my fog. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to click it again. If you go all the way to the bottom, your fog brushes will be sitting there. For your fog, you want to pick, actually, I'm a bad person. I need to make a fog layer, especially when you're using stacking layer styles, guys. Keep your stuff separate. Um, you want to use kind of like a lightish, almost white gray. I'm not going to ask you to use the exact same specific color I do. There are different tones of gray. If I move this to a blue gray, it's going to look different than a yellow gray. Go ahead and hit OK. And I want to try to avoid doing anything repetitive with this hard edge. In the brush pack I downloaded, there's at least one or two brushes that don't have a hard edge, like this one. Those can be a little bit better for what we're trying to do. And again, you can play with the opacity and build stuff up. You kind of want to just click and drag, make it spooky. Cool, cool. See how I do kind of have that hard edge down there from here? I'm going to come in with my eraser. I can turn the opacity of my eraser down too. I want to get rid of that edge. I don't want to see that. That's one of the things that go towards making things look photoshopped. The other thing I want to remind you of is if you go to this little circle thing up here, you can change the direction of your brush and you can change the thickness of it by squeezing on these, which can ultimately change the shape. Or in my case, add a hard edge that I don't necessarily want. Let me drop my opacity down on my lovely, lovely eraser. Then to make things a little more atmospheric, we're going to add another layer style because that's what this is all about. Uh, we're going to change it to luminosity. Luminosity is glowy, glowy. We want our fog to glow a little bit, but that's maybe a bit too much. So we're going to bump the opacity to 74%. That's better. I'm going to do one more layer of fog just to make it look a little more in depth. Uh, we call that atmospheric perspective. So let's name that fog too. I'm going to come in with a different brush. If you'd like to use one of the line brushes for this, you can. Just make sure you're paying attention to where those lines end up and maybe lining it up with the bottom of your picture. That's my eraser. That's not going to help me. Let's do that. There we go. So I'm going to make that nice and big. Same color. And I can flip it. How do I flip it? Use a little triangle, click and drag it. Now it's upside down. Perfect. And for this one, I believe I used something called subtract which is going to make it darker. That's why it's important for this one to kind of keep it on your bottom and your top because you've already got a darker bit over there. I need to fix that hard edge. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So now I'm going to go to subtract. Ooh, we're getting spooky. And it looks different every time I do it. That's okay. This is mostly just to get you acquainted with layer styles. I'm going to go back in and address that hard edge because that's what makes it look photoshopped. We don't want that. There we go. Would help if I cranked my opacity back up. Questions, comments, concerns. That's how we get spooky.